let's talk about how sororities rock. I have seen the giant checks that you have written to local nonprofits. I have seen the tears shed by the people who received it and the difference you can make with your dollars and your service. But I'd like to propose something a little radical. What if one social, one semester, became a service social? Did she just say a service social? What's a service social? When I served as an advisor at Georgia Southern University, I watched as 80 Pi did just that. They took the time, dollars, and power that they would normally spend on one social, one semester, and took it to their community. They asked all the nonprofits, how can we help? They have a chapter of about 225 girls. They divided the girls up in the course of one Saturday, 225 girls were serving in a million different capacities. A group of girls went to paint a floor at a fostering agency. A group of girls helped with a pet adoption, went and held hands with the elderly. The list goes on and on of the projects accomplished that day. The community was so floored, there was articles in the paper about it, as the incredible women went to the streets and asked their community, how can we help? What if a sorority partnered with a fraternity and did something like this? What if they built houses for Habitat for Humanity? What if they just got together, maybe asked an alumni or the local nonprofits and simply said, how can we help? This, I believe, can truly change the world. One of the quotes I share in the book is by Brandon Hatmaker. He says, out there is where we serve and get over ourselves. He goes on to talk about how a group that gets together to serve only itself has about a three-year shelf life. Ever notice how the seniors are always significantly less active than the freshmen? But when we get together to serve something bigger than ourselves, there is no limit to the time and attention we want to be a part of this organization. I believe if we get together to serve something bigger than ourselves, then girls will be more active as alumni after graduation that we will love to continue to support our sorority because we believe in the power that it is making. Now, again, I don't want to take away from the incredible things you do for your philanthropy because you do, but we all know that the social budget is usually like this and the philanthropy budget is usually like this. We can do more as sorority women and I think we want to. Here's a tough question. If your sorority lost its chapter tomorrow, who in the community would miss you most? The bars that serve Tequila Tuesday or the nonprofits who value your partnership? What will you remember most in your 30s? Hint, you definitely will not remember Tequila Tuesday. What I'm asking is sororities to make a lasting impact, not only for themselves, but for the community. What if every city that had a Greek life had cleaner streets, better run children's programs, elderly homes busting with volunteers? This is the change that I believe sorority women can make. What I'd like for you to talk about in your groups tonight is how you can make this happen at your school. Maybe you can start talking now about planning a service social. If that's too much, maybe you can plan with just the girls in this group to grab some sidewalk chalk and go to your Greek row or your Greek houses and spread encouraging notes on the concrete right in front of them. Maybe you can grab a trash bag and clean up your campus, clean up the streets. This can be so simple, but your impact can be so huge. If you guys get together and make an impact, I would love to hear about it. Please tag me at katiebulmer.life or hashtag sorority girls can change the world. We would love to feature you. We would love to tell the world that the sorority girls are so much more than what you think they are. They are world changers. Oh, 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 oh.